Hello, I'm Robin Vincent and welcome to another Surface session. Today I am testing battery life. So what I've got is my Surface Book and I've tried to sort of create some kind of a musical environment so that we can test how well the battery survives when running music software and music hardware. Personally, I'm not particularly into running surfaces on battery. I prefer to stay plugged in because I want everything kind of available to me. I'm not one of those, I'm sitting on a bus getting out an enormous laptop and uh, having a bit of a play. No, that's not really me. I prefer to have things plugged in. I like a powered hub, all that sort of thing. But a lot of people do ask me what the battery life is like. And so I thought it was important to give some kind of real practical demonstration. So here we are. It also gives an opportunity to test kind of the stability of the system over a longer period of time because I don't always sit here for hours just looking at it. So the plan is very simple. I've got an Ableton Live project loaded, a pretty beefy one that's going to tax the processor. I've got an audio interface plugged in via USB. I've got a MIDI keyboard plugged in via USB, both powered by the Surface Book. I'm just going to put out the plug, set the timer, set it running, and see how long it takes for it to get down to that kind of 6%, oh my God, uh, critical battery alarm. I'm also gonna be setting an arpeggiator going on the base station, which is gonna be constantly running into Ableton Live, just to sort of put data into the system so that it's not just doing the same thing over and over again, particularly it's also still receiving data as well as playing back. You know, I'm just trying to, sort of emulate the playing of a keyboard over a period of time into the Surface Book as running on battery. You get it? I think so. Ready to go? Go! So that's two devices plugged into USB being powered. First one is the Fast Track Duo audio interface, and the other one is the Base Station 2. Base Station is playing an arpeggiated, latched bunch of notes out to live here on channel one. The rest of the project is playing with a whole load of synths and reactors loaded processor is running at around 60%. It's running on battery. Current battery life is 100%. We will check back in a little while. About 25 minutes in. We we'll look over here at the battery. Same, we've got about two hours, 23 minutes remaining. It's interesting. Okay, we're an hour and a quarter in. Everything is still playing. Playback is still completely fine. And down here, we are on 39%, it says. Okay, an hour 19, I did just get a glitch. Now this is still saying down here, 37%. But up here, the CPU usage has got up a little bit high. In fact, it just peaked then again. So I imagine at this point, the CPU has stepped down a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, the processor has stepped down a little bit to 2.1, as opposed to previously being at 2.4 or 2.8 normally. But it is still hanging together, so I'm gonna leave that running. Okay, we're getting towards two hours and we've got a 10% battery. It's given us a little triangle saying, look out, you're under 10% battery. CPU level is still rocking around the same, so I'm not expecting it to have gone down any further. At almost bang on two hours, we hit the 6% running low limit. So 
so the system very shortly is going to want to start shutting itself down. So that says we have eight minutes remaining and I don't think it's going to be that long at all. Let's give it some power, shall we? Poor thing. Yay! So there you go, a couple of hours. It's not too bad, is it? Whole thing was flying, everything going on. Data in, data out, audio playing, running. Two bits of hardware and audio interface and a keyboard all running on battery. Two hours. Did lose a little bit of CPU after a while. It sort of clocked down to about 2.1 gigahertz as opposed to the normal 2.4 to 2.8 that I see when running it on power. So you're not gonna be wanting to run a project like I was at about 60% because it's gonna creep up as time goes on. But other than that, it, it didn't falter. It's still completely stable, nothing funny went on. There's no crashing or weirdness. It just crackled a bit when the, when the sign came up to tell us that there was bugger all battery left. And of course, you can add on a couple more minutes for those last percentages of battery life. I have nothing else to say about it. There you go. I hope that's helpful. That's the Microsoft Surface Book i7, not the performance base, not the one with the new added batteries in it. This is the regular vanilla flavored one with the Nvidia graphics i7, 16 gigs of RAM, running a bunch of stuff on batteries for a couple of hours. There you go. Now go and make some tunes.